All right, there's the rebuilt generator, new voltage regulator on back on the tractor. Uh, everything connected. I got to polarize it right now before I get going any further. Before I forget to do that. So what you do to polarize it? I got a wire with two ends on it. You can see there. Uh, this terminal here is the battery terminal, which is the hot terminal. Connect to it. Straighten this out so I don't touch arc on something. Connect to it, and then take the other terminal and touch the armature, which now this center terminal is the armature terminal on this generator. This terminal here is the field terminal. So you touch it to the armature, you get an arc right there. That's all it took. Now that generator is polarized. You heard it jump in there. I'll do it one more time. You see it jump. That polarizes it. So it's ready to charge, so we'll find out what happens. So there we are with the tractor running. You can see she's charging. That's the first that tractor is charged like that since I've owned it. So you're charging, we're charging real well. Excellent. Now turn the lights on. Still charging, the lights are on. You got the four headlights on. has never charged that well since I've owned this tractor. Excellent. Very happy with that. Everything looks good up there. Double check. Yep, everything's working just right. Belt looks good. Pulley's turning. Everything's fine. Excellent. well. So now we're ready to go tractor pulling this week, not this weekend, next weekend. That'll, that'll take care of that. Good shape. What the issue has been is when we go tractor pulling, drive the tractor home at night, turn the headlights on, it runs the battery down. Now we don't have to worry about that. Now the battery's going to stay charged up, be in good shape. Excellent, excellent. That's it.